Hi, this is Larry Gaines from Options on the Open. I hope you're enjoying your Memorial Day weekend. And in this short video, I'm going to go over our trades of the week. And this will be on the NASDAQ or the NQ uh, NASDAQ E Mini 100 futures contract using our Power Cycle Futures day trading model. So I'm going to go through some trades that uh, were set up on May 22nd based on the cycle model. But before I get started, if you've not received my ebook, this is a free download. Just go to optionsontheopen.com, download your free ebook, put your name and your email address, click it, and you're going to get this 15 option trading strategies right then and there. So let's get started. And let me give you a little quick background on this trading model. Uh, I put together the cycle trading models uh, for basically day trading and swing trading um, stocks and ETFs uh, and then we will use the options as the uh, instead of the underline but the cycle model that uh, I've developed um, is so universal that you know it is able to trade across all asset classes and time frames so the NASDAQ 100 e mini futures is a really great uh, contract for us to trade using the cycle model. We do a lot of trading on Apple using weekly options and with the NASDAQ 100 being made up of 18-20% as Apple it's the perfect contract to trade using our cycle model. So I'm just going to show you some setups that were uh, that were uh, put together or that were made this is on May the 22nd uh, this past week and these are setups based on the cycle model. So here's the NQ. This is the June contract, and this is a 400 tick bar chart. We'll, we will use various different, different tick intervals and time intervals uh, for the trading system. But what I'm going to show you now is just where the entries were, were placed uh, for setups and uh, some of the exits. So you'll see green arrows for representing long, yellow arrows represent neutral red arrows represent shorts and then neutral so these are areas where the cycle system actually set up trades and then I put the arrows in to mark the entries and mark the exits so here starting out this is um, again on May 22nd and this particular first trade came as a long right around 839 840 central and caught this you know bottom of this cycle and then we add it to the long here of this break here of this moving average and then it's back up and we had went neutral then went short went neutral then had another short up here at the cycle high went neutral and I'm just going to continue through this chart to show you the other setups now this was all through the day based on the cycle model so here was another cycle low buy another cycle buy add-on goes neutral look at this big move here from about 25.52 up to 25.60 went short at the cycle high added on to the short right here went from short to long added on to the long went neutral went long added on to the long went neutral and this time frame now is at 1126 central went short added on to the short went neutral went long this coming in at 1255 central added on to the long went neutral went short went neutral and that was it for the day so just uh, in this short video just to show you how these cycles it catches the cycle low cycle highs and if you'd like to learn more about it and use it for your trading please come join me and our other members at optionsontheopen.com 
and take advantage of our virtual trading room and learn all about this cycle trading model and how we use it for futures trading and for option trading. So please come join me and I hope you enjoy your Memorial Weekend and thank you very much for your time.